Hey guys, it's Rudy bringing you another video. Um, today's video, like I said last week, that um, this video is going to be about Game of Thrones. This is going to be talking about last night's episode. The reason why I can't really upload Sunday, because I kind of watched Game of Thrones like late naturally, like probably 12 like a.m. like Eastern time. Um, so I'm trying to do this like every Monday. So um, last night's episode was fucking hype. Dude, I was going ballistic after what the first 20 minutes when they were beyond the wall. Like whenever they go beyond the wall or whenever White Walkers get involved, I get like super excited. And I get the same feeling whenever I see the Antullied fight because like those are like my two favorite like armies right now in the show. Um, but let's start off with the beginning of the beginning of the show where uh, Arya and Santa's having a little feud thanks to Littlefinger. Um, which was actually very annoying and I never really liked Sansa at all I've always hated her even now I still hate her I mean yeah she kind of matured just slightly but I've always hated Sansa and now Arya she's like an ultra badass I've always hated Arya when she was like uh, like the first I think one season one and season two I believe it was season three she started to go through the training or season four um, but now she's like a total and complete badass like and then Around that same time, like seeing how like she turned Sansa, who which I thought was like you know up there in maturity, she she reverted back to how she was when she was in the first couple seasons, which is into a little girl, like little child, because when uh, I said because, but yeah because or sorry when um, Arya actually confronted her with the note that Littlefinger left on purpose, which you know yeah like the note is right i mean everything that Arya was saying during during that that scene was 100 percent accurate i mean sansa could she she had not betrayed her father but you know she can't really do much she's not a fighter but i don't really blame her for that but i mean at the same time you know i mean if it was me dude i still wouldn't betray my my entire family i'm just saying like i'd rather die and just sacrifice myself than betray my entire family just saying but on to the next scene when um which is actually pretty funny when they were marching beyond the snow, I said beyond the snow, beyond the wall, Tormund and um, Tormund was talking to the, uh, what's it, I keep forgetting his name. Not the mountain, the mountain's the other dude. Uh, uh, not Gregor, oh my God. I can't forget his name. Well, I think it's Clegane, right? Yeah, damn, you guys wanna hit me. The Hound, sorry. Sorry, I get the hound. When they were uh, talking, you know, when they were talking to each other, and um, he was talking about, when he's talking about Brienne, uh, Brienne, I call her Big Dane. I don't know why I call her Big Dane. I mean, she's like six foot. I realize she's like six three or whatever in real life. But yeah, I call her Big Dane for some weird reason. But yeah, when he was describing Big Dane, and then, um, <laughs> and then, and then the hounds looked at her like, "You talking about Brienne of Toth?" And then like the, the way his face, like his reaction, dude, it was priceless. I have a beauty waiting for me back in Winterfell. If I ever get back there. Yellow hair, blue eyes. Tallest woman you've ever seen. Almost as tall as you. Brienne of Tarth. You know her? You're with Brienne of fucking Tarth. Well, not with her yet. But I see the way she looks at me. How does she look at you? And she wants to carve you up and into your liver? You do know her. We've met. Like the way he was describing her, like dude, the memes on the internet was wild. Like I seen this one meme, it was like, you need a guy that will talk to you, will, will talk about you, like how Tormund talks about Brienne. And then um, also, uh, I don't know if you guys really picked up on this. Uh, back when John was beyond the wall the first time, and then they were talk like Tormund was talking about how he, how he screwed a bear. I just find it kind of ironic that that uh, pretty much right after they were talking about that. Um, you know, a giant frozen bear came out of nowhere. Dude, like, right after that scene, when, once the bear came, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, dude, if they're having this much trouble, and it's like, what, 10 dudes, 12 dudes? If they're having this much trouble with a bear, fuck. And now they can turn animals. The White Walkers can turn animals into a living dead. And then, like, I was, in a sense, it was kind of foreshadowing, spoiler alert, I was kind of foreshadowing, like, what if he actually turned one of the dragons into, like, you know, like, you know, part of his army? So, you know, I'll get I'll get into that like later on, but um, pretty much right after that bear attacked, that's when everything got you know serious. At that point, you know, like I didn't know what to expect after that. 
which again I pointed out in this Latin last video I made but this show does very well you can't really predict what's going to happen next unless you actually read the books which I'm not going to read it but I'm going to like once the show ends because you know there's way more to the books than the actual show but go moving along towards further in the episode um once they saw once they saw a small group of white walkers together and um so moving on forward uh one thing i i uh noticed a lot in the uh in this episode was the time skips the time skips were ridiculous well actually they, they weren't ridiculous they were done well but it was like kind of confusing in a sense um, a lot of people th uh, thought that they were actually only there for a couple hours, but they were actually there, there for a day, if not more, because Gendry had to run all the way back to Eastwatch and then send a raven to Daenerys, and then for Daenerys to come to rescue Jon Snow and the others. And I don't know, a lot of you thinking, like, how the fuck did this nigga run? Like, how far? Like, dude, it was like, I don't know. I would think Jon Snow's the fastest, but you know, we can't leave Jon Snow. Well, let Jon Snow go back and then leave the others because obviously because he's the main character everyone else is going to die So I understand why they sent Gendry, but Gendry ain't no slouch either. He's really the boy. I actually like Gendry a lot But the saddest moment of the show was when um, The Night King threw the javelin and he got good aim for that shit, but you know But when he threw the javelin at Viserys the javelin of a series one shot i think it was to a vital artery which is why because like remember when i think his name Dra dragon drag dragon dragon uh when he got hit with the uh with the arrowhead it barely did anything when he got hit with it but then again i think he's made like he he's his skin might be tougher than the other two but then his other uh two brothers um which is why i think he didn't bleed out as much but once the uh the knight came through the javelin right at, at Viserys. It was like it was like an insta kill, and like I'm not going. I actually felt really upset when I saw that. Really, really upset. But at the same time, you also got a lot of people don't think or don't know is that the uh, the the weapons that the the White Walkers use is stronger and um, sharper than any steel ever forged in Westeros. I mean, besides you know your your dragon glass and your um, Valyrian steel, but no other weapon can match with the weapons that the white walkers use so you got to think if you want to throw a javelin at a white walk at a, at a dragon with you know with, but a, a white walker javelin you know it's going to do some damage now if it was like a normal javelin personally i don't think anything would happen i mean yeah he'll get pierced but i don't think the dragon would have died in a sense but i don't think the dragon died with that one hit I think uh, Viserys actually died once, you know, uh, it hit the ground. Cause don't forget, he, she, he was flying pretty high, and then he hit the ground on top of that, and then fell into the water. So I mean, like, if it was, if he got shot, and he was right on the ground, he probably wouldn't have died. But I mean, he still would have, cause you know, you gotta heal it. But um, and a lot of people are wondering why the hell did, why didn't the uh, the Night King throw the javelin at Dragon uh, instead of uh, Viserys? Well, if you guys play strategy games like I do, <laughs> yeah, um, then you would know that uh, what most people would do is take out the supporting the supporting enemies first. So in a sense, like you have the other two dragons going around destroying the army. So I mean, attack them first, and then attack the one that's trying to escape, because it's going to take a while for it, you know, for Dragon to actually get into the air to start flying, because you know he got to get the running jump and stuff. So by taking out the support, which is the two dragons, which he only took out one. Uh, then that will give him the opportunity to take out Dragon, but luckily he missed. Well, sadly he missed because like it's like I'm starting to like Daenerys now, but at the same time I really do hate her. Like I honestly really want the Night King to win because right now at this point it's anyone's game. Well, not necessarily because of the fact that Daenerys lost majority of her ships. She's pretty much losing the war, but obviously Cersei don't, doesn't know that yet. And then she lost one of her dragons. The Night King lost. Nobody. Nobody. If anything, 
the knight can just gain a, a huge asset to its army. So right now, we don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Uh, next week's episode is the last episode, so I'm definitely gonna try to touch base on that, make a video on that shit. Um, but um, another thing I wanna talk about, um, a couple of news of uh, rewriting Game of Thrones is, I believe that there is going to be a prequel. Uh, though, unfortunately, uh, there's rumors saying that it won't cover Robert's Rebellion, which is what everyone wanted to see, uh, but it will cover a good amount of um, a good amount of uh, other content leading up to Robert's Rebellion. I mean, for all we know, they might actually add that in there, but again, it, it, it's just they're not entirely sure on how to incorporate Robert's Rebellion in the prequel. Now, the prequel is supposedly, rumors, supposedly to start uh, late 2018, I believe. Not, not 2018, uh, 2019, sorry. Early 2019, sorry. And another bad news for all you fans out there is we might not get a Game of Thrones next year because they haven't started writing a script. So they say. Uh, I mean, it could all change, but I was I was reading online, check the forums. It's almost pretty much confirmed that we might get Game of Thrones late 2018, early 2019, which is going to suck a lot. So we, about roughly a year, year and a half with no Game of Thrones. Great. And the good news is uh, Daredevil Season 3 is coming out. So, I mean, I guess I could watch that, but that won't keep me occupied for a year and a half. But I'm going to keep this video kind of short today. Um, because I'm, I'm assuming you guys already seen everything on the internet already and the episode was actually leaked a few days before the actual um, before the actual release date of the episode so everyone already started making speculation and videos on that um, but leave a comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and write your own theories in the, in the, in the comment box I'm, I'm totally down to read some of you guys comments on that regarding the show uh, and I'm still like new to this whole like reviewing thing uh, definitely next week I do plan on actually writing down some notes because I was told that uh, next week's episode is going to be longer than an hour so I'm definitely going to take down some notes after I'm done watching it so I could review it onto the video and I think that's it guys I think that's it oh also I might start vlogging again I'm not entirely sure I'm going to a wedding this Saturday this Friday so I'll be vlogging that so I'm gonna upload another video this week so I'm trying to get back on the roll um, you know it's been a little backed up with life and all um, I don't know, I might, make I might make a video on why I haven't been uploading, but no one really cares, so. But I'll catch you guys uh, next week, so. See you.